Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Starting Line. I'm your host, Sarah Allen. We are six weeks into the 2013 legislative session. House committees have been busy hearing bills and laying many over for possible inclusion into omnibus bills. That includes the governor's E through 12 education budget bill. We will be laying over this bill for possible inclusion in the education omnibus. Bill. In case you are wondering, an omnibus bill is comprised of several individual bills under one general topic, like education. This week's starting line looks at Representative Phyllis Kahn's bill, House File 521, a bill that would allow intoxicating liquor sales on Sundays. Will it be considered for possible inclusion in an omnibus bill? Let's find out. Representative Phyllis Kahn sits down to talk to us about her bill and where it could go in the political process. Khan, a legislator from Minneapolis, is serving her 21st term in the Minnesota House of Representatives. Thank you, Representative Khan, for talking to us about your bill. And I know you have a history with this bill. You've carried it before. Why are you sponsoring this bill again? Well, the history of it is that it doesn't pass. <laughs> this is a bill to allow uh, liquor stores to be open at will. No one forces them to be on Sunday. Every state around us and the two provinces that surround us all sell on Sunday. So we do get a lot of support often from co-authors and so forth from people in the border, in the border districts. And no state that's ever gone to Sunday sales has ever gone away from it. How many times have you carried this bill? Oh, at least two or three times. <laughs> And I think the issue needs to continually be brought up and eventually, maybe not me, but I think eventually it will be passed. But I think you don't, if you think something is right, you don't give up on it just because it's not going to pass. What are the hurdles of getting your bill passed this time? The same one. I'll have to, I, I hope I'll have a hearing in the Commerce um, Division and Representative, that's Representative Atkins' committee. What he always does is hears bills and then holds them over for possible inclusion in his omnibus bill, and then he never puts this one in. Mm. So I don't know if he is. Last year, I think I gave him 20 reasons why he should put it in, which started with the first one is, your wife supports it, <laughs> and then went on to, your bill is boring, and this will make your bill more interesting, <laughs> and going on. So you know, what I tell people who urge me you know, people who want, want it supported and who urge me to ask me why can't they get it passed, I tell them, got to contact your legislator. All right, let's go see where House File 521 has been and where it's likely to go. It's had its introduction and first reading. It's been referred to the Commerce and Consumer Protection Finance and Policy Committee. And we're gonna have to wait and see if it goes any further in the political process. Representative Khan is working on a couple of other bills involving alcohol sales. One would allow children to consume alcohol with their parents at a bar. The other would lower the age to 18 for on-sale consumption of alcohol. We'll keep an eye on these bills, plus look to see if there's been any movement on House File 521 or other bills we have featured. You can learn more about these bills and others through our online news service, Session Daily. This nonpartisan news source employs a staff of professional writers, editors, and photographers that provide you with in-depth coverage of the Minnesota House of Representatives. You can also watch live coverage of committee and floor action on House TV. Of course, you can always tweet me if there's a specific bill you'd like us to cover here on Starting Line. And remember, thousands of bills get introduced every legislative session in Minnesota. All of them first have to cross the Starting Line. Mm -hmm. 